to demonstrate using the Select Extracted Records tool um, when searching over a list of records. I have had a question about um, uh, the optimal process for doing this. Um, the tool um, provides a way to um, list all of your search terms in a file. Um, the file I'm going to work with in this case is right here, searchlist.txt. It's a set of regular expressions. Um, I am going to search over a file of 114,000 records, give or take. So I'll go ahead and use this. I'll set the display field to 001. A um, couple notes about um, some changes that you'll see in the program versus what it would look like if you were running it uh, right now. I've added a couple of dialogue messages, status messages, just so that you can see what's um, actually being loaded, um, particularly on import. The other thing I've done is I've set a pause um, after each 10,000 records. This was partly to allow for memory cleanup. Uh, the way that the program previously worked is it would load the entire record file into memory and then pass that to um, the uh, list as a, a set of objects. Um, that would, becomes very memory intensive the larger the record set is. Uh, for 114,000 records with 300 and some odd megabytes of data, it would create a, f a, a footprint of about uh, 200 megabytes. Uh, by cleaning the memory every 10,000 records, uh, I can keep the memory footprint down to about um, 45 to 50 megabytes, which is roughly about what the program runs under um, normally, given that .NET has to be loaded. Uh, it also allows you to see uh, the process as it goes through. It really doesn't slow anything down because uh, the time it took after you pass the data to um, the list uh, would take a little bit of time for it to render. Uh, so for example, for the 114,000 records, it took roughly about uh, 25 seconds from when it finished to when you pass the data to the list. And there was a lot of stuff not happening when that happened. Um, so I think that the list, the, the status message makes it a little bit easier to tell what's going on. So Mark Edit has a file option. I'll check these regular expressions. I will get the full path to the file here. And it's going to be search list.txt. These are 17 regular expressions. I run search. And you'll see that I've added a new dialog box to let you know um, that things are being searched. Uh, that was something that when you click the button, nothing happened um, until it was finished. Uh, this way you can actually see how quickly the program is going through the individual items. You can see it goes through very quickly. Um, it's actually a little slower with regular expressions than if it was non-regular expressions. Um, there are 17 selected. From this point, I can hit Extract Select, Export Selected Records, decide if I want to delete those from the source file or not. The program will keep, um, will extract all the records at once. That way I don't have to do it more than once. Um, I will say that the export um, option selection takes a little bit of time. Uh, for these 140,000 records, it probably will take somewhere between 30 to 40 seconds to export the data. Um, and that's partly because at this point, the program um, does have to go through that 300 and some odd um, thousand records uh, and extract the data based on the um, options that have been set here. And so that does take a little bit of time for it to read through the entire file and extract it into a file set. Uh, but you don't have to do it once. And so um, uh, that should, uh, that seems to work fine. Um, if you need something faster, uh, and the ability to be able to query quickly um, and something like this uh, over, say, like 114,000 records, the performance that you've seen here isn't appropriate. Um, you may consider extracting the data in something like SQLite. Um, or get it has an option to do that. Um, you would just have to have a client to do the, the batch processing work. So anyways, uh, that's how this works.